Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a theory involving Ninjago's 2023 United series, which is going to be the upcoming season of the Ninjago TV show following Ninjago Crystallized and its continuity. And as of this moment in time, we aren't really sure what exactly Ninjago United is going to be about, but I think we can infer a plot based on this set list, which has been making the rounds for the past several weeks, which at this point in time is the only set list that we have for the upcoming Ninjago 2023 summer series. And again, take this list with a very heavy grain of salt, it most likely is not final. But a lot of the set names do sound rather futuristic, and we know based on these set names as well that this new season may have something to do with time travel, specifically time travel to the future. Set names like Heatwave Transforming Lava Dragon or Imperium Dragon Slayer Hound sound rather futuristic to me. And especially the final set, the Ninja Assault Ship, which is confirmed to be the Destiny's Bounty, Race Against Time. That certainly seems like a time travel based set if I've ever heard of one before. Now, in the past, we've seen Ninjago tackle futuristic subjects. In fact, Ninjago Season 3 Rebooted was all about future technology. What if this new series takes place in the far future, with the ninja traveling from the present to the far future, and potentially teaming up with a new group of future ninja? Hence why several of these sets also include new names that we do not recognize, like Eren and Sora. But I think a season where the ninja travel to the far future could make for an awesome storyline. We can see our favorite ninja struggle with the future technology, technology, try their best to overcome it, but eventually they will find themselves outmatched by whatever future technology we will see, and presumably all of this future technology will belong to a very intimidating future-themed villain. Possibly the Time Twins, who's to say? I know a lot of people expect the Time Twins to come back during this season, and I feel like this would eventually lead to the ninja teaming up with a future ninja team, possibly their descendants, hence the title Ninjago United. The only thing that I'm not super on board with here is the fact that we've seen futuristic Ninjago seasons before. As mentioned, Rebooted was all about futurism and all of that future technology that Borg made was a very big part of that season. I would argue that even Prime Empire had futuristic vibes, not as much as Rebooted obviously because Prime Empire was just a video game, but still we've seen futuristic seasons before, can this be any different? Honestly I think it could, however I don't think it'll have a great time trying to compete with something like Ninjago Rebooted. But then again Rebooted is also hated by a large portion of the community now, so maybe this new future season will be better than Rebooted, who's really to say? I actually really enjoy Rebooted for what it's worth, but I know of a lot of people that don't really care for it, so maybe this is Lego trying to branch out and appeal to that market, you know, make a futuristic season that everybody can enjoy, but honestly, I'm not really sure what Ninjago United is going to be doing just yet, but based on this set list, it does sound rather futuristic. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below discussing what you think about all of this. Do you think Ninjago could do a futuristic season with Ninjago United, and how do you think the ninja will end up in the the far future. Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Peace.